Zachary Misko. I'm in Chicago at the HR Today Forum, and we've just wrapped up day two. We've had sessions, we've had panels, we've had an iTalent competition. I'm here with CEO of Social Talent, Johnny Campbell. Johnny, I, I talked to you earlier, and I, I, I said, you know, please think about what you hear, take some notes, and let's meet at the end of the day. Yeah. And tell me about what stands out in your mind as some best practices or what you really enjoyed listening to or hearing to today. So Zachary, I started this morning with a session that was around employer branding and marketing. Uh, it was driven by some of the guys in AMS. Really interesting stories, two different customers being uh, kind of sharing their, 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 their roadmap. It was great to hear marketeers talk about concepts like persona mapping as it applies to recruitment branding and how organizations have implement, implemented that, which is great because it's, you know, you're getting marketing conversations happening at a HR event. This is, this is fantastic. So that was a really good start of the day. Um, we moved on then. We, we kind of went into the, the main room. We kind of moved into a diversity conversation. But it was uh, with the guys from Linden, which uh, is not the chocolate company, I, I learned. I thought they, th those are the guys who were presenting. Lindy. Uh, Lindy. But, yes. the, but the, the industrial gases company. But I love the idea of using data to weave a story around diversity and inclusion. So um, the, the presenter from, from Lindy, um, uh, Peter, uh, he'd worked with J&J for years before that from Belgium, living here in America. And he talked about how they've used actionable data in their uh, inclusion stats to really start getting management to think about stuff. And he showed this, this graph of what he called the leaky bucket, which he was showing out, we're bringing all the people in, like it looks great in numbers, we're bringing great diverse talent in, but then we're not getting people promoted, we're losing people, they're, you know, we're forcing people out, they're forcing themselves out, and how you can go, oh, actually we have a problem. And I love that because I know I've, I've talked to so many companies um, today and yesterday, but and in general over the last few months about you know how they solve the diversity initiatives, and they all have targets around bringing people into the business. And they're not thinking enough about well, what happens when they're in. And anecdotally, I hear the problems, but these guys have data, and they have graphs that you can bring to the board and go look or to a manager. And I just love this story, and I hope people got inspiration on how you can use data I around think diversity. So. That's really good for diversity. Brilliant, brilliant, you know. But then we got down to the uh, so we did a few other sessions during the day. Some great conversations. It was a lot of informal stuff today, which I really, really liked. And by the way, I never had to mention last night's amazing night out at the comedy clubs. We were in Second City, uh, which was just awesome. And we had a fake panel with Elliot talking about presidential debates with a lot of the uh, the kind of uh, uh, the HRO kind of leaders. But anyway, that was really good fun. It, it, it's fun to get HR people out of the conference element and into a fun setting where we can just relax oh. and loosen up and. Yeah. I think everyone did have a really good time. We, we, we just we got to get them drunk in Ireland, just just to say, just to say that, that's what we do. Uh, it was a great night, but um, yes, yeah, so we closed the day with eye talent, um, and eye talent uh, to me is just one of the the strengths of day two because you know you get to see what's coming next um, and really kind of provoke good ideas. And we'd we'd seven, I think, finalists for eye talent, six or seven, six six finalists for eye talent, and uh, I think there was over twenty submissions. But really strong companies, the winner at the end of the day, and it was really close. You sit on stage, how close was it? It was very close. Like it was points, with, tiny points. With it less than two points. Wow, that's amazing. Well, you know what? It, it, that, I'm not surprised. We had three companies who came um, in the top, and so I'd say they were super close. Hiring solved at number three. Sean, a great presentation about the tech is just amazing. I think. Um, it's, it's, it's probably more niche than most people would look at. So I think the long-term play is fantastic for Hiring Solved. They have the potential to be the biggest company out of today, I think. Um, but number two, Fair Sale, the company that you'd make money tomorrow with. Brilliant solution for mid-tier com mid companies, an all-round HR suite. We have tried as a business, as a small company, to get an all-round HR suite. They're all horrible looking, and Fair Sale looks beautiful. It's built on Salesforce platform, and the guys are going from strength to strength, which is wonderful. And then the winner is the Muse, uh, and Catherine did a great presentation. She's just a super presenter, and yes. but she's got a great product and a beautiful product. That's essentially they're they're an ad agency online, um, but they're a really profitable one, and they're bringing in loads of money because they're solving a problem that if we all want to solve, which is how do you bring all this kind of modern recruitment branding and videos and storytelling and weave it into your career site and get it online, get audience and do social content. They're like, yeah, we do that. We have it up and running in two weeks and we charge a very reasonable price. Sign the dotted line. And I think companies are just flocking to that to go, wow, because they do it better than everybody else can do it themselves. So love that presentation, really good stuff, had loads of fun. Great day too. We got to get a flight tonight. I'm yeah. really looking forward to the next no, one. That's great. And we would have so many great sponsors. Thank you to Social Talent for sponsoring. Thank you to you, Johnny, for speaking. We had great feedback from your session, Good. which was yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of great sessions on talent acquisition, 
talent management, employee relations and services, as well as outsourcing. So um, I can't wait to see what we do next year. We'll be back here in Chicago for the HR Today Forum in 2017. I hope you'll join us next year as well. Oh, for sure. Thank you so much. Thanks, Johnny. Cheers. Cheers.